being a female, you know, the military police and then the local police, and then you came to the fire. Usually, traditionally, there are quite a bit women in the both other departments, the military or the military police or the local, local police, they are. But the fire and rescue, what, what kind of challenges, the first challenge you notice and, and then you felt, and then you have sat and say, am I at the right place being a woman? Right from when I first started, uh, there were challenges because you didn't really hear of women in the fire service back then. So there was the myth women aren't strong enough uh, to do it. Uh, I can tell you right from day one when I started, I had to pass the same physical requirements uh, for the job. Uh, did I struggle, maybe spend more time uh, getting physically fit than the, my male counterparts? Maybe, uh, but it's not, it's not insurmountable. Uh, we, we are strong enough to do this job. and. I want everyone to know that uh, one of the reasons I started Camp Molly, which we can talk about, is because still to this day, even last year in 2022, I had a call from one of the parents who um, was adamant that her daughter attend Camp Molly uh, last year. She kept calling me and calling me and I said, well, registration hasn't closed yet, so I can't confirm, but please, can you tell me why it's so important that your daughter attend? She said her daughter was in grade 11, was going into grade 12, wanted to be a firefighter, wanted to apply to the post-secondary pre-service firefighting program, but her father did not believe she was strong enough to do it. So they wanted her to attend Camp Molly so she could prove to her own dad she was strong enough to pursue a career in, in fire services. Breaks my heart, we are in uh, 2023 now, but that was last year. We are still seeing and hearing the same information that I heard back in 1986 that I wasn't strong enough. You know, this is 36 years later, and these are challenges we're still facing uh, for our young women. What other challenges and the difficulties you face during your beginning term or the first couple of years uh, institutionally being a woman? So uh, even amongst uh, just the strength part, believe it or not, because um, Many, uh, even females, had never had their significant others or spouses or husbands uh, work with females before. Um, that became a real issue for me with uh, other women because they couldn't understand why I would want to do a man's job and why I would want to work with uh, uh, men as opposed to women. So that was, believe it or not, was a real challenge for me. Um, I was ostracized at uh, many events uh, by uh, couples because they felt threatened for whatever reason. Uh, it was difficult for me that way. Uh, it was always having to prove myself um, amongst people, not just that I was strong enough, that I was smart enough, that I was qualified to drive the trucks, that you know, when we were out on the scene, would I, would I be able to back them up when we had an emergency? It was like constantly being challenged. And one of the other things that I did experience is, so when I first started, because it was crash rescue, structural firefighter in the military, firefighting at that time was considered a very prestigious, sought after trade. Um, so most of them that got into the fire service in the military were remusters who had served their country in combat trades. So, you know, PPCLI, the Vendus, the RCRs, the Airborne, were the chosen people to get in there. It was almost like rewarding them for their combat time. I did not serve in a combat um, regiment. I was direct entry. I went into the fire service at 19. Uh, so not only did I have the challenge of being a female um, in there, I had the challenge of being a direct entry at 19, working with people who felt I didn't deserve it just on the fact that mm -hmm. I'd never served in one of our infantry but they, they trades. You don't have the same experience. You didn't go through the same process. Yes. But they, so they are probably not ready to accept that, that Absolutely. you are competent it and was capable to do the job right. Yes, it was very, uh, it was very difficult for me in that respect. Um, but will I say, uh, for every uh, naysayer that I may have encountered, um, some of the relationships I built, I still have today with those people that were so supportive, but it will be, it was a defining moment for me that said to me, you know what? I have to make change in the fire service. I knew even back then, but I wanted to make sure that I understood all the rules. So there isn't a role in the fire service I haven't done. I've been a communications operator. I've been a fire investigator. 
I've been a public educator. I've been a fire prevention officer. I've been in training. I served with, at the provincial level with the Office of the Fire Marshal for seven years to get a real understanding of the legislation that mandates the fire service. I've served as a deputy fire chief, both with St. Catharines and Oakville. I've served as a fire chief with Belleville, and now as a fire chief here with the city of Kingston. Community is at the heart of what we do. This is your TV, truly local.